Hey guys, what's up? This is Emmy and Basis. And Franz Hopper, how you doing? And we're here for the final book of Rosario Vampire, book two, season 14. We both read it. I could say it's got thrills, chills, and just ultimate sadness in the end. But then it becomes oh, even no, happier. So we both took a lot of notes. We both read it. We know how it ends. And all, all I can say is the anime has nothing on this. The anime. anime. Ugh. It can't compare. Mm -mm, not at all. It's got it. That's how it should have ended. Not not the whole them singing and having the whole group thing. But. I gotta agree. Yep. I digress. So anyways. Alright. So we're gonna start off with uh, the very first chapter. Well, it's only two chapters actually. But the book is very thick. So it's called, uh, yeah, pretty much. So it's called okay. Dawn of the Dark. Which is pretty fantastic, everybody. Yes. So, uh -huh. so we got Fang Fang. So as we start back off, like how, how the whole, um, sorry, I'm just getting messages left and right from a group of mine on, I'm on Steam with, but anyways, aside from that, um, so we're left off from the old book where, of course, you know the fairy tale was falling down and you didn't know if everybody survived or not, correct? So, right. aside from that, um, the book starts with Fang Fang, Ruby, Yukari, they are falling, and Yukari uses a spell called Soap Opera, which is a spell that uses soap bubbles, basically kind of kind of have them a safe landing and they do the same thing for mocha too but I remember that part yeah but where's the girl where are the other two girls at where's Mizore and Kururu we don't know exactly where did they end up that was the question that had me stumped <laughs> exactly and of course you have a Luke card who's finally awakened and, and of course uh, yeah we're not good with the names but um, the guy from the arranged marriage who was going to marry Mizore, um, is actually pretty much part of a Lucard, and there's an actual big history behind him and Mocha's mother that we're going to talk about later on. So, anyways... <clears throat> Hold on, So, there's real hell on planet Earth because Alucard has finally come down. And all these humans are just like, wow, what in the hell is going on? They finally know monsters are real. So, aside from that, Mocha gets impaled from the heart. And... And the rosary gets destroyed. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. So that means goodbye, Outer Mocha. Which, of course, you already know, Outer Mocha is pretty much a reincarnation of Akasha. Mom. Yes, Akasha. And so, Alucard is basically attacking the entire human world. But guess... Yeah, but guess who comes in to have fun? The Japanese army. And they get their asses handed to them. Yes, Never they do, they indeed. Get their asses wiped on the floor. Yes. They do big time. <laughs> it just sucks for them because they are like. Oh. Exactly. There's nothing they can do. Lucard's just too powerful. So, aside from that, they go back to showing Mocha and Skune. So, Mocha slowly dies, and Skune wants Mocha. Skune finally says the most biggest epic thing ever. 
Skune loves Mocha. He finally confesses. Yes, even though there's been so many hints and all this crap, but he finally admits it. I don't know if he was a necessary deal to give those hints. I think he should have just confessed right then and there, but then, you know... Yeah, then you got to think of the other girls and their feelings, too, because you know he's got, like, a harem going on. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. He does have a harem going on. You're going to have to consider all the other girls. But yeah, you're right. yeah, and you got Fang Fang, who's apparently got dragged into this somehow. <laughs> but any... Yeah, but anywho... So, here's another big kicker. Mocha and Skune kiss, and Mocha admits... Her love to Skune. Which was awesome. Yes. It's very awesome, very amazing that Skune and Mocha embrace and kiss and love each other. I mean, you don't see that in the series. Because that's what people who, who love the, uh, the, the Mocha and Skune uh, camp, they love stuff like this. This is their... Their you thing. Just don't. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so. Yeah, and sadly, Mocha sl slowly dies and says, um, she will always be with Skune forever in spirit. Which is sad. Which sucks. And it is really. It just. It's sad. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't expect Mocha to die, though. I mean, like, you know, maybe one of the support yeah, characters... Yeah, like the main character. Exactly. So, of he's course... He's the main character. Yeah, so you already know the guy from the arranged marriage is pretty much back. And so now... But wait! The headmaster returns! Which... Is one of the Dark Lords. That's true, he yeah. is. And holy shit, is this guy amazing. But we'll get to more on him in a second. But guess what? The story actually turns a, takes a different turn. So, actually, Mizore, Kurumuru, and Kokoa are alive, and they're actually looking for Mocha and Skune. So that's pretty cool. Which is pretty awesome. Yes. And here's the funny thing. But where's all the civilians? The whole city is empty. Exactly. Yeah, so... Yeah, so Alucard's... Yeah, so Alucard's attacking, but the guy from the arranged marriage is like, where's everybody? Well, guess what? Everybody got evacuated. Which was pretty fantastic. Yes, because the guy yeah, from the arranged marriage doesn't know about mankind and how evolutionized and evolved it's gotten. They've exactly. gotten so very strong. Yeah, if you think it's the old human wimpy side. Exactly. So, of course, the army got impaled, and a lot of them pretty much died. And surprisingly... Where the hell were we? Why didn't we come in and help? Seriously. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, but, you know, it's not our war, even though they are allies. I, I, I can't speak for the manga, because I can't speak for um, Akashia Akita. I can't. <laughs> but anyways. But the army thinks they beat a loot card. But he comes back. But, Immortal. but wait, we have another person who just came. The Siren, yeah. Son, returns. Surprisingly, the one that Gein loved a lot, she returns. And she is singing and everything and making a Luke card very weak. And taking it off while doing it. She is. So... So they go back to showing Mocha and Skune, and Skune weeping over Mocha, and Aqua says she she can resurrect 
mocha. Which is a good thing. Yes, so she can mix her blood with Mocha's blood. Kind of like how exactly. Mocha did with Skune when when Skune died. If you've seen the manga if you read the sorry, if you read the manga or seen the anime series, you know how that happened. Even though in the series they never showed his vampire powers, but they do in the manga. Yeah, which kind of sucked to me was like, oh, come on, he's got to have some vampire powers now, but they don't show it in the anime series. Here in the manga, they do. That's what we're telling you, folks. Exactly. So Aqua injects her blood into Mocha by biting her neck, which is, of course, how Mocha gave her powers to Skune and feeds on him. Pretty much. So, so aside from that, they go back to the main battle. So, Son destroyed the tentacles through a siren song. Which is actually pretty cool. Because we, we haven't seen much of her fight in that book. But this final one, she makes a hell of a, no, an no, attack. No, think about it. She never did really fight that one. She, she did against the fairy tale, but yeah, man, she, cool. she just whooped ass in this last book. Oh, hell yeah, dude. And of course, exactly. And Miko Game is attacking Alucard, the final Dark Lord, the person who is the headmaster of Yokai Academy. So Miko Game unleashes his true power. Miko Game is a Hishin, which is kind of like an evil creature, but. We're not going to really bore you with the facts about it. If you want to look up what a Kishin is, it's K-I-S-H-I-N. Kishin. Or Kaishin. I'm not very good with pronunciations. I do apologize. But it's an amazing creature. And Toho Fuai turns back into his younger form. Which he did earlier on. And now him and the Dark Lord and the Siren are fighting side by side on a Lucard. Which kicked ass. Exactly. So they're... The uh, it's an all-out brawl. Pretty much. So... So, sadly, they go back to Mocha, Skune, and Aqua. The wounds are too deep, and Aqua needs to give more blood to Mocha. But the problem is, it would kill her. It would kill Aqua if she gave way too much blood. But there's a problem with that. Right. Because since Aqua's not strong enough, and Skune isn't strong enough, Skune offers, but he, he's just not, you know, the full blood he wants to be. And yeah, so... Kind of sad. He's cool. Yeah, because Skune was crying and wanting Mocha so bad to be alive. So, not thinking... He takes off his spirit lock and becomes a full vampire and he will die from it. He said he's doing it for the woman he loves. He's got somebody he cares for very deeply and wants to um, give life to Mocha. That's what he wants to do. And sacrifice his to save the woman he loves, which is pretty awesome. Exactly. Okay, so Skune bites Mocha. And then they moved back to the attack. So San attacks vital parts of a Lucard and is doing major damage. Toho Fuhai and Miko Game attack a Lucard together. Kind of like how Jace and Birder are in Dragon Ball Z, like how those two have a great power. Yes, they pretty much fight together but not have the oh, yeah. weird gay relationship <laughs> well that's that's team four star <laughs> joke team four star joke okay but anyways um so the two dark lords which tohu fuai is one of the dark lords go figure they see a pillar of light and miko game senses it's Skune. Everybody sees it. And Alucard's going towards it. He just rises up and is going straight towards it. 
And so Mocha, Cocoa, and Mizore find Skure and Mocha but can't penetrate through the light. It's too strong for them. There's nothing they can do. They want to see their friends, but but how can they penetrate it? Exactly. Yeah, so pretty much Skune is turning into ash because his body is pretty much still human in a way. Yeah, that's true. He's starting to deteriorate. And Kurumaru is crying o over Skune because he's slowly dying. He's turning into ash. Yes. And yes, that's it. Slowly dying. So Aqua summons a magic circle to kind of intercept the the pillar of light to save Skune. So the entire group gets together: Mizore, Kokoa, Mocha, Ruby, everybody. They're going to heal Skune with their powers. And that's what they plan on doing. It's basically kind of combining their powers to give it all to Skune like. Um, like anybody would if you have a stronger person and you're wanting to bring that person back. Or giving power to them, so to speak. Oh yeah, you're going to need a lot of power to get just to bring someone back. Yes. So they transfer affection and power to Mocha. Like all their love and everything. Just all of it. Yeah, all of it to Skune and Mocha. One, one energy just to save Mocha. Yep. And to help Skune too. Exactly. And Skune and Mocha rise. Skune is now is a full... Vampire. Vampire. He is. I mean, he looks so badass. He is. He literally is badass. I mean, seriously, he's just badass. Exactly. He around. he is. I mean, the guy can fight. I mean, he. Oh, he is. I mean, he could. He has. He has the power to transfer his own powers. See. People, this is what he looks like. Him and both Mocha. You cannot sit there and say that that is not badass. <clears throat> it is badass. <clears throat> I gotta admit, it's badass, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So, Skune and Mocha attack as a team. <clears throat> and leave a big hole in a loot card. It's so powerful. Yes, they're 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 so powerful. They're more powerful than Kurumaru, Mizore, all of them combined. It's so crazy. And so <clears throat> So they have a really great ability. Their ability is to basically, well, create. That's crazy, right? It's stupid. <coughs> well, well, they can change into anything like Texture of their blood to create anything they desire. So basically, if they want, like, a sword, there you go. You got yourself a sword. They can manifest. It's basically like they can have manifest. It's amazing. It's literally, that's awesome powers there. I mean, seriously, if, you, if I had powers like that, I'd fucking do a lot. Exactly. Shit. It is very good and very amazing power to have. Okay, so... Anywho, so they basically tore uh, Alucard into pieces. Both Mocha and Skune, I mean, just obliterated the hell out of Alucard. Boom. But, exactly. sadly, Alucard regenerated. Which sucks, ladies and gentlemen. It regenerates. <laughs> really, truly, it does suck a lot. And so... I mean, come on, it's in the world. But it does suck for the demon. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so... So basically, 
Alucard is talking to Tsukune and saying, why are you protecting these humans? And so he says the actual purpose of the lock is to slowly turn a human into a monster. And the headmaster knew that. It was part of the headmaster's plan, but Skune loved it because he got to meet so many great people. He did. All the people he loved. And, you know, that was covered a lot in the first manga books of this series. Yes, it was. And so... It was so huge. It was. And so... I mean... So we're just going to call the guy from the arranged marriage... The elder Lucard or whatever you'd like to call him. So he uh, planted eggs around the like around the world of Japan. Well, sorry, not around yeah, the world. Sorry, right. around the whole area of Japan and somewhat of China. And they're monsters. They they hatch and they're attacking every living thing, even monsters. <clears throat> Which sucks, ladies and gentlemen. But here comes a really cool because part. Now have these monsters going in. A whole bunch of oh, familiar yeah. faces from this from the second season manga have joined the battle. The Huang and fa- uh, the Huang and Mio clan who was fighting actually got together, coexist, and now they join the fight to help. And I mean, they just, they're just destroying these monsters, too. (laughs) Yeah, people from the Yokai Academy are joining the fight. They're doing everything. It's amazing. Which is awesome. So, the headmaster used Skune in his grand plan, like we've already talked about, so Skune decided to That's right. to keep all of his anger and said, "You know what? I don't care. I'm happy. I love all the people I have." So, <clears throat> so Skune and everyone attack a Lucard and even the monsters that hatched out the eggs. But we're gonna get a little bit of flashback, and this is gonna be very interesting. This is between Akasha and the guy from the arranged marriage, who we're going to call Alucard oh, yeah, for now. So Alucard wanted monsters and humans to coexist, but the neighboring countries didn't like it. So they fought him, and everyone perished. Oh, yeah. So Alucard has this really bad blood thirst against humanity and took that one survivor who was Akasha and he wants to rebuild his kingdom. So he, at one point, he did want humans to coexist, but all the all the neighboring countries, all the humans were afraid of it. So now he has that blood thirst and that revenge he wants. Yeah, so they changed. So he changed his opinion and wanted to bring chaos. So. Which sucks. It does. So back to the main story. Skune gets impaled in the stomach by Lucard. I mean, just leaving a huge ass hole in him. Oh, yeah, that's just. That's gotta hurt. Yeah. I mean, it's literally gotta hurt so bad. And they and they can't find a weakness, but wait, there is a weakness to a Lucard. Mocha's mom Akasha is the bomb inside a Lucard. Oh, yeah. So Mocha's mom oh, yeah. is sleeping; she's still alive, in a Lucard. But how 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 is she? Well, That's here's what happens. Scooney takes the rosary off of Mocha. And puts it on a Lucard's chest. Putting the rosary on a Lucard is recreating Akasha's body, not really like a full fledged human, but she's still attached to a Lucard in a way. 
Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Akasha, Blood Driver, is reborn. So, ladies and gentlemen, Akasha's back. Akasha's back. So, as Akasha's back, Alucard's power is growing weaker. So, <clears throat> so all three Dark Lords, Toho, Fuai, Mikogame, and Akasha, the three Dark Lords are going to use a disintegration spell to get rid of Alucard. Which is pretty sad because, honestly, Toho, Fuai, and Mikogame are going away, and, and this is very hard on Skune, reason being... So, Skune realizes that, wait a minute, <clears throat> that Akasha was actually the mocha he loved. Which sucks, because it hurts him in a lot of ways. So, he's crying and he's very upset. There's nothing he can really do. No. So... Akasha has the memories of Outer Mocha because of the Rosary. So the Rosary kind of kept a lot of the memories. Which, in a way, just sucks. Yeah, so Skune is, like I already said, upset because that's the Mocha he loves. He doesn't love the inner, he loves the Outer Mocha. Because the Outer Mocha was yeah, a reincarnation. And was more sweet in color. So... Agasha was like, thanks for everything. I appreciate the memories. You've been such a great person. You've done so much. I will never regret anything. And then she, and then they proceed with the spell. So after they all disappear, the three Dark Lords, Alucard are gone. Skune is crying and upset. Akasha is gone. The mocha he loved is gone. The, the pink-haired mocha that he loved. Everyone in the series that everyone knew, she's gone. It's only the inner mocha. So, all of Alucard's monsters disintegrated when Alucard got very weak and disintegrated. That's right. So, guess what? Kahula didn't die. She did, but she got brought back to life. So now she's back. But she's turned good. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, but here we go. We got a we got a little cutscene here of Kiria Yoshi. He wants Fairy Tail to be back. He will lead Fairy Tail and come to be and he wants to basically get rid of Skune and his friends, and he wants to become a formidable foe. So he wants to bring Fairy Tail back. Which, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be the newest enemy of Skune, which he already said, but yes, it's going to suck in the future. It will. So Miko Game asked the but. Oh, guess who comes back? The bus driver. Uh, uh, bus driving. The guy who was really weird did not do anything in the anime series except give them rides back and forth. But it has a huge ass yeah. thing in the series. So Miko Game asked the bus driver to support. Really for me. Yeah. Exactly. So, Mikogame asked the bus driver to support Skune as his successor. Really, now? The bus driver to be... Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. And humans now know monsters exist. Will they coexist? Mm-hmm. And, of course, Skune's parents and his cousin saw everything. So they know he's a monster and a vampire. Which is hilariously awesome. Mm-hmm. To me it is, because now 
his parents are probably going to be thinking, oh God, our son's a monster. What happened to our sweet little baby boy? Uh, <laughs> exactly. You don't know what I'm talking so, Skone's still crying and upset, and the bus driver's like, well, Yokai Academy is very dangerous. You want to go back, kind of like starting the entire manga all over again. He's like, you know what, I'm going back, but I'm going back with friends. So he gets on the bus, everybody's there, they're happy, and they're going back to Yokai Academy. Now, we're going to the next chapter... The epilogue. So we get to see oh, yeah. Skune's father in this quite a bit. So here we go. Ace Shuzen has been hired to kill Skune. Mocha's father? Oh God. Oh God. So yeah. So you remember how Inner Mocha was very bitchy and unfriendly and didn't give a shit? Yeah. Yeah. She has become really friendly and very nice, almost like the outer mocha. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty fr fucking cool. Even though outer mocha is no longer Are with he? them, Skune is still sad and upset because he's all. But he thinks he's alone. But he's got the girls and new new friend Fang Fang with him. It's sad though because outer mocha has been there that. for pretty much everything. Skune's just had yeah. such an attachment with her. But. But. Awesomeness. Yes, but anyways. Inner Mocha sucks Skune's blood like it's nothing. Like, just like Outer Mocha used to do. And Yukuri yeah. Mizore come and get upset about it. Because they apparently made a deal. She can't really suck his blood that much because they think it's going to kill him. So they limit her to only sucking his blood so much. Right. So now, Mocha's father is on his way to meet Skune. Which is pretty awkward. So the girls think of a plan to get rid of of the engagement. Apparently there's no real engagement. That's just something that they cooked up. And they're in the newspaper club yeah, and the three yeah, the Yeah, exactly. And the three girls are like, oh boy. How's Fang 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 is now a part of the uh newspaper club and he's like How in the hell do how the hell did I get into this? Is that yeah. yeah that that's what it's like it's just total bewildering. Exactly. So, so Mocha, Isa, and Skune are eating lunch together, and Isa and Skune aren't quite connecting very well. Because Skune is pretty much not the very good type of person to talking to, especially to Isa. So here we go. The fun has arrived. Issa thinks yeah. Skune is having a harem. <coughs> so Kurumuru and Mizore come half naked <coughs> to stop the engagement, apparently from what they thought, and talk about making babies with him. God, I feel sorry for you. I know, and Issa's like, oh my god, are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? But at the same time, I'm like, the lucky bastard. That's what's going through my mind at the same time, the lucky bastard. Yeah, exactly. He's got so many options. Lucky bastard. So, Ruby Ling Ling and Yokuri come in to join the fun. Yokuri and Fang Fang act like bondage people and saying, yeah, he's my bitch. And, and Ruby has the same bondage thing going on too. And oh my God, it, it, it's crazy. Oh. <laughs> 
So, so Ruby comes to inform the guys about um, Fairy Tail putting a bounty on Skune, and Ruby finds the flyer about it. So that's pretty interesting. So, Issa is pretty much an assassin because it was his flyer. It's like, oh yeah, shit. That was pretty bizarre. <laughs> So wait, is this a traitor? I thought we, were, I thought we had this accomplished. Well, here's the fun part. Issa saved Skune from a toxic poison monster, which was sent by someone else. Right. Which is crazy, man. Cause that monster could have killed Skune. So out of nowhere, the bus driver. is actually the one who hired Issa to kill Skune, but instead was proving that the Shuzen family was on his side. And they were out yeah. there to protect him from future assassins. So wait a minute. Fairy tale. Yeah, exactly. And other people who ever want to attack him. So the Shuzen family is on his side. So they're fighting with him too. It's like, pretty awesome. wait a minute. Wow. And yes, uh, East is not an assassin. It was a joke. <laughs> it so, was. It was a funny joke, though. <laughs> so, Issa is going to train every day with Skune. So, Skune can take over Miko Game's place as the headmaster. So, he's in training, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. And so, so <clears throat> exactly, exactly, and and here's the fun part. <clears throat> so, of course, Issa's like, wait a minute, y you know my wife, who was of course Akasha disappeared you know that even though the mocha you loved was a reincarnation but here's the cool part inner mocha and outer mocha are somewhat connecting together because inner mocha's hair like the tips of it are changing pink like cherry blossoms that's like which ladies and gentlemen it's like, wow, it's like two different, it's like those two personalities are coming together. Instead of the rosary, you know, it's like, <coughs> hey, instead of just having to take the rosary off, you're just going to have two for one. <clears throat> it's like the two of them are merging. So, we end, so they end the book with everybody walking off and everybody's happy. Everyone is together and happy, and that's the end for that. Now, now here, here's what I'd like to say on my my part. Since since Fairy Tale is going to be reborn, Skune is going to take over as the headmaster and Mocha's inner Mocha is starting to turn into the outer Mocha. And he says in the picture now. So, even though he said that it's over, I feel like I would like at least like maybe one to maybe like two or three more chapters. I'd like to see like what would happen if Skune... And Mocha do get together, or does he? Does he still love the girls? Do they live in a big area? Um, does he become headmaster? Was it like when he's headmaster? Um, you know what's going on. I mean, what's Issa up to? What's the Shuzen family? Are they protecting him? And has Fairy has is Fairy Tale coming back stronger than before? I, it, it's just, it's just like, what? What's going on? What's happening? I feel like there's so much that still needs to be answered. Because Fairy Tail's coming back. 
But will Skone and them be strong enough? I don't know. It just ends with them being happy and everything. Now, of course, there was a little bit of, like, each character epilogues, though. Like, even though Skone was still a virgin and everything, all the girls are, like, trying to, like, steal him, get him, and all that fun junk. But still, we don't know about that yet. <laughs> But, you know, what's going on with Skune's parents? Like, does he visit his parents after the war? What do his parents think of it? I, I feel like a, a few more things could be answered. Just in my opinion. Yes. So, what's your opinion? Go ahead and say yours. Uh, well, you actually had all my opinions, dude, but, you know, just to further the point here, they did leave, you know, a question with no answers because they just put in fairy tale is coming back now normally i would say that's really stupid if you're going to end a manga series like that and it is it's really stupid. but for this one i'm making an exception it's awesome so if you could leave off some more chapters like you said and somehow incorporate it into mm, i don't know special chapters like, oh Fairy tells to try to keep continuing to kill Sune, but that's that's another story entirely. Exactly, it's a whole other series. You know, kind of like a spinoff. Exactly. It'd be it'd be pretty cool for a spinoff. Don't get me wrong. Maybe like Sune, Mocha, and all them have babies and like I have a spinoff of awesome. that. But that but that's just me. So I I, I personally agree with you, man. I personally do. I I agree with you. <clears throat> On that quote. Yes. So, after the final book, I'd say this would be like two seasons at best. Like two more seasons. This would be like four seasons all in one. Like, because they'd have to have 12 episodes lead it up, and then the next season would have to be the big and final one, which would be like the fourth season. Because it, it's pretty yeah. big, and they can't really miss that much detail. Because they got to have all the detail from the second season of the manga series to get it going. Yeah, I agree with you, man. <clears throat> right. There is one other thing that bothers me. You know, if Sune turns monster, like we said, and now his parents realize that, but here's the other thing. You know that one cousin of his that is actually like a sister to him? Uh... Joker or something. I don't remember her name. What is it? But she kept looking after him and was like her, her his or her favorite cousin, whatever. Yeah, I don't remember her name. Oh my god, I can totally see it. Mm-hmm. But, like I said, a lot of questions unanswered. It is. But I'm willing to make an exception and let this one play it out. But you know what? It's just it's just our opinion. We can't really say much. I mean, we can't control no. it. But I just felt no, like it. The yeah, I just felt like it's a little short. But I mean, it's a good ending. Don't get me wrong. It, it's sad. It's good. But Skune is happy. They they have a lot of great build up. And of course, it's just one of those things. Now, for the series, if they were to do this, even though it's been quite a long time since they said, oh yeah, we're going to have a season three, oh yeah, we're going to do all this and that, this and that, all the rumors and all that shit. For us, even though we don't, okay, now here I'm going to say this, we don't know when, we don't know how they're going to do it, we don't know when the third season is going to be here, they said they're not going to do it, they say yes they are, all we can just say is, this is just our opinion, we're giving you our opinion on how we think the anime series should come back into light and follow the mon manga series. Like, not not to the full extent, but at least have the full detail. Yes, that's what we expect <clears throat> to happen. But, but yes. Like we're saying, it's only an opinion. Yes. Yeah, no control over this. Yes. So, if they were to do a third or fourth season, or both, at least, I would say, do the do it from the manga, do it right, include the sisters, include a loot card, everything, because I promise you, 
it'll be amazing. Season two, I don't know where the hell they're going to get off from that since Issa apparently is an evil SOB. Even, I don't know how the hell yeah. they got to, to, to that last episode. Really, I don't. That's what bothered me. You know, in the anime series, at the last episode, they didn't paint him as a son of a bitch or, a, you know, a total asshole, but a protective father, a protective dad who wants her baby, who wants his baby girl to just be, you know, be happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a real total douche. I mean, they didn't make him look like a really cool badass in the manga. They just made him look like an idiot on the anime series. But I will say this. Yes. For the anime series, definitely do it. Do it right. Because for a third and fourth season, it's well worth it if they put their time into it. I'd say if you guys could get some information do what you can and push them on because this honestly they need to end the series right and they need to do it right not by this not by that little crappy thing so anyways do you have anything else to say before we wrap this up no I'm all done I'm pretty good so after two years we finally got it oh and uh, we're going to say one thing to the Alex guy, or I forgot his name because he got mad at us because he, um, even though he got a lot of subscribers, talked about the anime series, we're going to talk about him, Alex S, or whatever his name was. Um, There's nothing towards him. He might have a different opinion on it, but, but we fully support you, man, on your opinion, but we have a different, so it's whatever you want to do, man. I'm doing agreement. Yeah, we don't want to want to have a disagreement with you. Just have a good time with yourself, man. Enjoy your how many ever subscribers you got, and just enjoy life, brother. That's a fun. Yeah, we're just here to have fun, and this is our final video for this. So. Yep. So, anyways, all right, guys. This is M E M Basis. And Grant Hopper. We're done with Rosario Vampire. See y'all later.